hello welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to install the engine x pedal pro black edition on our toyota 4runner <laughs> okay so what is this so basically this is a uh, throttle controller so it's same as pedal commander uh, those other in the market uh, sprint booster they're all the same so that's the same purpose basically so again this doesn't make your doesn't add horsepower it doesn't do that so this is simply to control the opening or how fast the throttle will open and close basically so with this one uh, the one that we got here uh, it is engine basically it's made by engine technology or it's branded by engine technology with this particular one I know a company that actually makes the same one which I use they're the shadow uh, auto uh, they're from Taiwan and basically it's the same thing and it's just a rebrand the, the engine is just a rebranded shadow auto throttle controller so yeah so I've used that if you watch my previous video with my CHR I installed that shadow on my CHR and the same thing that I use on my Toyota Yaris I have that shadow auto and it's awesome so that's why I just want to try the engine branded one uh, because it's easier to access it here in the US so it's easier to purchase uh, the engine uh, brand on it all right so with this one again this can work on uh, some Lexus Scion Subaru and again Toyota of course so yeah and yeah we're not really gonna talk about what it is so you know how it works probably most of you uh, knows how this one works so i'm just gonna show you how to install it all right okay so before we jump into the install so this is what you get in the box so we got this harness this one plugs in to the factory uh, harness or the factory pedal and then you put in the factory harness uh, on this one so it's basically a white cable and then this goes to the actual module uh, in here and this to the controller itself all right so they gave you plenty of uh, double-sided VHB so yep so you got three of that uh, just in case you messed up and the user manual all right so with this one I just want to talk about the material on this one it is aluminum the framing on this one is aluminum it is also compact it is very small uh, which is nice uh, you don't use oh they don't have an app a phone app on it which is okay uh, on my RAV4 I have that uh, ECU shop uh, speed boost next throttle controller and they have an app on that one I don't really use it I set it to what I want and basically that's it so an app is not really needed uh, basically you're setting it up once and you're good to go basically so all right so again let's install this all right so this is the plug that we need to remove so this is on the gas pedal so we need to remove that plug just simply press it or firmly press it and then lift it up uh, sometimes there's like resistance removing this uh, plugs but again it should be very easy removing it all right okay personally I'm having a hard time uh, removing this uh, even on my RAV4 or my CHR I usually just put a uh, flat head screw and just like lift it up but I'm not gonna try to do that here I'm gonna try to do it the right way by pressing uh, this because it's on the other side so it's kind of hard but I'm gonna try to reach it with my other hand all right
I knocked out the camera. But yeah, so it's removed in here. So you just need to put the engine harness in here and then plug it in there. Okay, so the harness is the code is TA two S just remember that it doesn't want to focus so we're gonna grab this and then we're gonna plug now well already then just plug this one out over there on the factory or in the assembly there you go now we need to run this somewhere we're gonna install or mount the actual controller all right so i'm just gonna put this one up here we're gonna go from there all right okay so i'm planning to mount it in here instead of the on this one i think for me this will be the best place uh, because while i'm sitting basically i can uh, see it through the steering wheel yeah so I think we're gonna do that. Okay, so this is where I end up mounting it. So I just put the double-sided tape here at the bottom and half of it is in the bottom, half of it is in the back. So it sticks on this particular trim. Uh, so the only issue, no, I'm not gonna have an issue on that one. But yeah, but on this one, we're good. We're good on that one because if I press it, it's okay so yeah so everything is good so so while I'm driving here I can see what mode I'm in and if I decided to change it I can simply reach it while sitting basically so yeah easy access uh, yeah I see some uh, people installing them uh, on this side here in the bottom some on this side so when this one you have to reach down uh, but yeah so I think this is one of the best place to install it again this is the advantage of having a small uh, module or controller uh, again same with the sprint booster the sprint booster is small uh, enough for you to mount it somewhere uh, in here also uh, with the one thing about the sprint booster is you can set it up uh, to the mode that you want and you can just simply uh, hide it that's one thing about it so with this one needs to stay connected all the time so all right so I'm just gonna install the actual box uh, and hide it and clean up the install uh, and we're gonna uh, configure it all right we're going to configure it there's a configuration uh, or that initial setup that we need to run on this one all right okay so everything is cleaned up now we have to calibrate this so we're gonna put the car into ignition next what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the mode mode or the mode button and it will do a countdown actually you step you step on the pedal all the way and then you press the mode button and it will do a countdown and this will set it up now we have to remove it 
press it. All right. So I remove my foot. And now we're going to press it. And that's it. It is calibrated. So again, to calibrate it, step on the pedal all the way down. Press and hold the mode button. Wait for the countdown. Release and then press the mode button again. And then step all the way and it will show the H right and then press the mode button and it's all set as you can see I'm pressing it right now and we have those dots showing up in there so yeah so it is set up it's on normal mode right now and if you want you can put it into eco mode uh, eco mode one it is actually uh, less responsive. Uh, it's actually more responsive on this. I know this because I have the shadow. It is basically similar to this one. Uh, mode one, two, three. So the higher on eco mode, the slower the uh, response will be on. So this will be helpful if you're stuck into like mud, snow, uh, you can control your uh, acceleration uh, better so so that you won't spin so that will avoid the spin um, again on this we have the uh, sports mode there you go has a sports mode one uh, two three basically on this one the higher the number the more responsive it's gonna be. So with this, I'm usually on five. Uh, five and six, it's up to nine, I believe. Yep, it's up to nine. So six or five, that's like the sweet spot on this, guys. Uh, and it's gonna be awesome. So let's quickly test it, um, how it's gonna be. Okay, so we're gonna test drive this guy now. So I'm gonna put it into normal mode first. And then we're gonna go Eco 4. And then we're gonna go Sport 5. Okay, so that's the plan. So, let's go. So again, this will affect also while you're on reverse. So just be careful uh, stepping on your uh, accelerator when you are uh, backing up. Okay, so let's back up. So I'm backing up on normal mode. Actually, let's go to uh, sport mode now. It's on sport mode five. <laughs> yes. Responsive. I can in I can feel it instantly. So this is one good thing about the throttle controller. Again, this doesn't add any power to your car. It just makes it more responsive by opening that throttle body faster. Yep, I'm happy. Yep. Yeah, so I'm gonna switch it to normal mode and We're gonna try it from there. Yeah. 
it's only 25 in here so I'm happy uh, now we're gonna go to eco mode 4 yeah eco mode 4 you need to step on it might save you gas uh, personally I haven't used eco mode I think I did before when I was like working like one hour away uh, and it helps uh, but yeah but if you want basically additional uh, ump on this basically to give more life to your forerunner put it on sport mode I'll do sport mode uh, now sport mode 5 again because I'm gonna join the highway just a short trip basically um, again initial uh, reaction in this one I'm already aware that it's gonna improve it but yeah I'm happy so let's go <laughs> I like it <laughs> yeah I'm not really usually I'm like my foot is like already like 40% on the gas pedal right now I'm more like 50 and I don't even notice it so this is nice so if you want to purchase same uh, travel controller I'll put the link in the description below I'll put some alternative also uh, in there if you want uh, to check them out uh, again if you find this video helpful please consider subscribing and thanks for watching